Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone. Namaste. Thank you. A mythical story of the origin of the existence of Lake Chini when the Jakun tribe first came and explored the area for farming. While they were digging in the hole, an old grandmother appeared with a kid out of nowhere insisting on them for not asking permission from her to explore the place. They apologized and the grandmother wants them to see their wishes. However, the old grandmother waved her cane as a sign and warned those not to pull out the cane. They suddenly, a dog was heard barking fiercely and they strangely saw a search dog barking at the bed Ebony's thumb. Wanting to know, one of them put the wooden stump with a digging stick, then blood gush out of the stump. Apparently, it is the incarnation of a dragon seeker named Sri Gumu. It is not accident that the sky is covered with black clouds with lightning strikes. Uh, all the people ran this group of Jakun people to save themselves. Somehow, the stick that the old grandmother was holding was pulled out and the Hello guys, so we will begin our tour by getting the boat riding across this mysterious lake of Chini. Along the journey, you can see a monkey hanging at the tree branches monitor lizard in the lake and also the birds flying in the sky. The highlight of the tour of course is the Lake Chini. There are actually twice series of lakes linked by the corridor of vegetation covered canals. It's beginning to see it when the lake is covered with lotus with a full blossom. The pink of the blossom letters contrasting with the green of pets make the lake a beautiful scene. Tourists also can visit the Orasli settlement at Kuku village. Here you can see the notepad demonstrate or even try it by yourself. But during this COVID 19, you only get demonstrate by the Oras tribe. You cannot then you cannot do it by yourself. You guys, you guys also can buy some souvenirs like notepad, comb, and necklace made of by bamboo to bring back home. So as you can see, this mystery lake is something that beautiful let's enjoy the view Chini Lake, better known locally as Tasik Chini, is a lake in Pekan District, Pahang, Malaysia the lake shores are inhabited by the Jakun branch of the Orang Asli the 12,565 acres, Tasik Chini is the second largest freshwater lake in Peninsula Malaysia and is made up of a series of 12 lakes. Chini River, which drains from the lake, flows into Pahang River. The river is dammed to maintain the lake's depth during the dry season. However, this has disrupted the natural ecology of the lake and caused the death of trees on its shores due to the 11 water level. Tasik Chini is one of the UNESCO Biosphere Reserve status site in Peninsula Malaysia, while the other is Proko Range in East Malaysia. It's time for the best part of the journey, which is go for the fishing. As you know, Lake Chini is damaged for the fish. You can call it 
this lady. The best time for fishing in this region is between November to January. When the season is the body of the lady. Use a green little frog to be as the species in the favorite food. Bound catfish is another species that is always in great demand. They usually came out in the evening searching for rotten and smelly foods. So, let's begin the fishing activities at the dead chimney. Thank you, Mr. Nabil, for bringing us to Lakchini. As we are done with boat riding and fishing, which to me are some chill activity, I will take over from Mr. Nabil and we will move on to some extreme activity. Let's go! The area surrounding Lakchini offer a few exciting routes for jungle trekking and tourists suitable for four-wheel drive challenge. Meaning to say, these are the activity that we will be doing with me. Here, experience guide also available to guide visitors to therapy and mentagon waterfalls or even a hike up to Chile Mountain. Other than that, there are also facilities to explore the 12 lakes as well as camping site for those who like to stay outdoor. Now we are at Bubba River or also famously known as a black water terrain. Okay everyone, here must wear a life jacket because we will is your safety. Please ignore my transparent jacket. Don't worry, I know everyone is already tired. So our activities here are relaxed one. We are here to enjoy the view and to appreciate the flora and fauna around here, especially the birds. Did you know there is a river that is about 40 km long and has a water that is completely black? That is the mystery and uniqueness of Sungai Burba, or better known as Black Water Gel. Black water jewel means high for mata pita and it is located in the lavish peat swamp forest complex in Southeast Asia based on Human Development Report. This river is located in Dunbobar Pekan, Nanansi to Runcang near Kuantan Muazzam Highway. This treasure is one of the rich heritage of natural resources. The water is black due to the natural dye from high content of organic metal present uh, in the soil and in this river. It is uh, surrounded by thick swamp forest uh, which has various species of flora and fauna, including those that are increasingly difficult to find. Near this river, there are several around Asli villages that are quite unique such as Kampong Runcang, Kampong Simpa, and Kampong London. Some of them still live in rough house around the river. Most of them are descendants of Asli Jakul and Semelan, still looking for forest products such as Gaharu, Rotan, Pami, and catching river fish. Some of them are now working with state government companies involved in agropolitan programs near their village, as well as carving furniture and ornaments from wood. 
Alright guys, we are finally at Kampung Simpan. We will stop by at this Obara Junior Village due to the clouded weather. It is quite dangerous to proceed with our journey here. Anyway, before we go back, one of the villagers of Kampung Simpan will read to us a Malay poem with the title of Anugrah Yang Dikhianati. Okay, now, before we ending our tour at Tasik Cini, we have one members from the Jatung Strike community, Adik Sharifah, to perform her saja. I present to you, Adik Sharifah. Salam sejahtera. Nama saya, Sharifah, anak perempuan Johari. Hari ini saya akan menyampaikan sebuah saja yang bertajuk Anugerah yang dikhianati. Detiknya semakin hampir kegusaran kian terasa nafas dalam sesak. Fajar baru sejukkan membuka tirainya. Namun bahangnya Tidak lagi seperti dulu Alam memberikan petanda Tetapi kerakusan masih membelenggu Anugerah sempurna untuk dinikmati Generasi menatang siap menanti Anugerah ini harus sempurna Untuk diwariskan kepada yang berhak Kembalikan hapusan bayu Mengukir ketenangan Sungai jernih mengalir biang Khazana alam untuk dirasa Agar bertahan selama-lamanya Sekian terima kasih Wow, wow, wow. What a good performance by Adik Sharifah for me saja. Okay, thank you everyone for being with us through this guiding along this lake of Chini. Eri? I hope you guys happy with our guiding and stay safe during this pandemic. See you soon and don't forget to visit Lake Chini if you had a chance. Bye everyone, see you soon. Lake area, especially natural lakes, are among the sensitive area where ecosystems are easily threatened by the greed of human action. Therefore, such an area need to be preserved because of its great contribution in terms of biological, hydrological, economic, social culture, and aesthetic diversity. In Malaysia, there are two large natural lakes, namely Tasik Chini and Tasik Bera, which are located in Pahang. These two lakes are not only rich in biological resources and plant as a source of food, water supply, medicine, construction and handicraft, but are also important for the tourism economy. The uniqueness of the landscape and the biological diversity and plant in it have become a tourist attraction from all over the world. Looking at the effort to manage and conserve this lake area, most decisions and actions are subject to government agency or institution. This involvement of the local people in the conservation of the lake area is often ignored and considered insignificant. 
the Jagun Tasik Chini community has realised the importance of tourism as one of the activities that can generate their income. Their involvement in jobs that lead to service such as the establishment of chalet or their own boarding house such as Vera Gumum Resort as discussed early is seen as a very positive endeavour. This shows that the Aura Asli community also has aspiration and desire to move forward. Even so, low skill in business management, inability to master foreign language such as English and inability to access market needs are the main cause of the failure of this boarding house. Apart from being involved in business that provide accommodation, tour guide and the second occupation undertaken by the Jukon community in Lechini. In addition to taking a wish to work as a tour guide organized by Lechini Resort, the villagers have also partnered with innkeeper Rajan Jun Guest House to conduct boating activity around Lechini privately. Even so, their involvement is not very organized and systematic as it depends entirely on the seasonal economy in addition to good facility and a certain time schedule. Therefore, it is quite difficult for tourists to make reservations according to the time they need. This shows that the Jakun community in Tansik Chini is still not aware of the time limitation of short tourist visit that need to be emphasized by individuals and group involvement in managing tourism programs. The difficulty of getting a book driver to get around Lechini will prevent tourists from enjoying the true beauty of Lechini that has been promoted and at the same time reduce one of the three recreational activities offered at Lechini. This reduction in recreational activity will further shorten the duration of tourist visit and not benefit the locals. The involvement of the Jagun community in the care and conservation of the environment is very important to ensure the continuity of these natural resources in Lechini. Repackaging Tasuchini as one of the tourism destinations that is suitable for nature such as extreme activities and environmental education is one of the good ways to attract tourists and entrepreneurs from within and outside the country. This cannot be done on their own by the Jagun community residing in Lechini due to their very limited network and experience in handling global tourism. Collaboration with Lechini Resort, Tasichini Research Center, Department of Orang Asli Development, Jaco, and Motec in handling and distributing tourism activities as well as marketing local products is important to reduce competition due to access to basic facility and infrastructure. Therefore, the evolution of programs related to environmental care and conservation around Lake Chini needs to be done again by taking into account the ideas and decisions of all parties including the Jakun community to improve and success community-based ecotourism in Lake Chini.